and welcome back to Writer's Workshop. Today we're just going to continue writing about anything we want to write about because that's the fun of writing. And we're really going to focus on those details again today. We're looking at our picture. We want to make sure that we're adding details. We're getting or we're making our picture so that our reader can see what we see in our heads. And even in our sentence, we're going to do the same. So I thought, you know, this weather today is kind of crazy. Um, we're, it's snowing in April, which is so, so, so crazy for Miss Wilcox. Um, and so it got me really thinking about the fact that I am ready for summer weather. I love the warmth of summer. Um, I like the sunshine. And so I think I'm just gonna write about that today, um, I'm going to write about how summer is my favorite season. So in my head, I'm picturing what a nice summer day looks like. And in my head, the best kind of summer days, the sun is shining. Um, there's green grass on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and just color my grass. All right, maybe we're going to have a rolling hill over here and just color that green too because I just, part of sunshine for me is, or summer for me is being outside. I'm going to draw some flowers here because there is sun and flowers outside in the summer. Draw some tulips. You know, I live in Holland, so we have lots of tulips. All right, so we're just drawing some flowers here. Um, hmm, what else can I, do I see in the summertime? Well, we see a nice blue sky on a clear day. Oh, you know what? We might see some clouds. So I'm going to just draw some clouds. And just keep kind of shading in. Remember I said I just like to cover all my white space, but I don't have to cover it all. So I'm just kind of shading to fill in that white space because it adds some details. I'm going to not color inside those clouds because clouds most of the time are white and fluffy. And we're just going to keep on going. All right. You know, part of summer for Ms. Wilcox is sitting and watching the birds. Michigan, we have some really beautiful birds around in the summertime. And so we have red cardinals. So I'm going to draw some red birds. Um, we have some yellow finches. So I'm going to draw some yellow finches. You know, what? I've even seen some blue jays. So I'm going to draw some blue birds. And I'm going to pretend they're all flying because it's so much easier. So I see sunshine, I see green grass and clouds, lots of colorful birds. Sometimes we have black ones as well. Um, and so, you know, and maybe I might even see somebody flying a kite. So I might draw a kite here because when it gets really nice out, it's a really great day to fly a kite. Have you ever flown a kite? I have. It's been a long time. I should try to find one maybe this summer and fly a kite. They're super fun. You know, I think this picture shows a really great summer or even a spring day. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and start my sentence. So I'm going to say, hmm, Summer is my favorite summer. So let's start with summer. Uh, 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 mer. Summer is my, those are both sight words. So if I need to, I can look back at my word wall. Summer is my favorite, fa a a. Ooh, that's a long A sound. Favorite. Summer is my favorite season. Season. Summer is my favorite season, period. That's one telling sentence. I 
love the warm warm summer is my favorite season i love the warm sunshine and bright colors because summer always has lots of bright colors summer is my favorite season i love the warm sunshine and bright and i'm out of room so i'm going to come down to the bottom colors colors period so two sentences there let me read it again summer is my favorite season i love the warm sunshine and bright colors i've got details in my picture i have details in my sentence even adding a second sentence on to give more information i think that you can see what i'm trying to show you based on the details in my picture and the details in my writing so boys and girls now it's your turn you're going to think about something you want to write about it can be anything you want you're going to draw your picture first, making sure to add as many details as you can to help us get that picture in our head, and then begin writing your sentence. Don't forget to use your alphabet chart to help you spell those hard words, and we are working on our writing muscles today, our writing stamina, and we are reading, or writing, excuse me, for 14 minutes today. So try writing for the entire time. Happy writing!